Natural gas futures jumped higher Wednesday, building on the prior day's gains, as traders absorbed news of the production disruption imposed by Hurricane Ida and fears that the production shut-ins caused by the hurricane will lead to even lower supply heading into the winter heating season. Ida left in its wake more than 1 million utility customers without power, more than half still lacked power Wednesday, and the vast majority of Gulf of Mexico production offline. Oil and gas drillers on Wednesday worked hard to restore production in the Gulf of Mexico, days after Ida crashed ashore in Louisiana as a Category 4 hurricane on Sunday. As of midday Wednesday, however, the Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement said operator reports indicated that around 83 percent of gas production in the Gulf of Mexico remained shut in. It also is becoming more apparent that much of the production in the Gulf of Mexico could be shut in for all or most of September due to power outages and severe damage at Port Furchin. Furthermore, while lost production is likely to be largely offset by losses in demand, the prospect of a prolonged production shutdown could have a major bullish impact on the gas market. A light demand pattern is expected next week as the northern and eastern U.S. cool into the 60s to 80s. The west into Texas will remain very warm to hot with highs of 80s and 90s, but not enough to counter lighter demand elsewhere. While natural gas demand will be much lighter going forward as summer heat fades, October prices are higher this morning, likely aided by a spike in global prices overnight, where Dutch TTF was up more than 4%. Next EIA weekly report build will also be smaller than the five-year average due to widespread heat this past week. Analysts again anticipated an anemic result. A Bloomberg survey found injection estimates ranging from 22 to 29 billion cubic feet, with a median of 25 billion cubic feet.